graphics come down as we get closer. Coach, we got everybody set. We're ready to go. Let's do it. Fired up. Ryan, what has preparation been like uh, this week, and how ready do you think you guys are to play? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think preparations have been excellent. I think the, the practices have been excellent. Um, our, our guys, we got down here Christmas night. Uh, it was good to get down here early. I had a good practice Monday. Two really physical practices the last two days. Um, you know, we'll have a really good practice today and good preparation here as we head into meetings this morning. Um, but it, all the focus is just playing, uh, you know, the fastest and most violent game we played all season here, um, you know, Saturday night, 8 o'clock. And, um, you know, I just think all the work that we put in this last, last month has got to now show. And our guys are going to play with confidence because we've had a really good month of prep. Ryan, you don't like to get into the injuries. No, nah, he's had a stomach bug, and, and um, you know we, we um, expect him to be at practice today. So, um, you know, we'll just kind of take it as we go. Well, I think they, they have good players all over the place. They have, you know, five stars running around all over the field, certainly in the back end. Um, you know, their corners are excellent. The safeties are really good. Linebackers are, are really athletic and play downhill and play physical. And the front is very good as well. So we're going to have to be balanced, you know, like we always are. We're going to have to, um, you know, find ways to, um, you know, score uh, in the red zone. We're going to have to be creative um, in all kinds of different areas. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to who's more physical who's winning the game up front, uh, who's going to play harder, who's going to play through the whistle, who's going to, um, you know, play for four quarters. And um, they're a very, very good team, uh, but so are we. And um, this is going to be, you know, a great game on Saturday night. I think it's going to be, you know, one of the more, uh, I think they said, you know, more people in this game they've ever had in the stadium. Um, you know, so our guys are excited about that. I mean, this is, when you get to this point of the year, this is where you want to be. And all the focus has been on this game for our guys. I have a very good player, uh, you know, disrupts the game. Um, and and the, their entire front is, is really good. And so is their back end. I mean, they, they really don't have any weaknesses on defense. They're, they're very, very good. And you can see why they're ranked one of the best in the country. Um, they do a good job, and, and he's he's very good as well. So, um, you know, our guys know what the challenge is, and, and that's why we've been preparing for it so hard. If they have 10 or 12 guys wrapped in the defense last year, as many. Yep. Uh, yeah, a lot of talent, but but they're well coached too, and then they play hard. So, uh, and you can see that based on what they've done the last you know two years. And um, so, you know, we know again what the challenge is going to be, and then we're going to have to play really, really hard in the game and execute really well. Because at the end of the day, it comes down to who plays harder and who's going to execute better in the game. Um, because as you as you get into games like this, there's a lot of lead up, there's a lot of conversation, but that's what that's what matters the most. Well, we, you know, they should be, you know, and, and we all should be, you know, we, we know, um, you know, what we need to do in this game to win. And that's kind of the way that this month has been for a lot of us at practice every day. There's been an edge, um, you know, there's been, um, you know, friction, there's been conflict, there's been a lot of that going on. And that's, that's a healthy thing. Um, and so, you know, the one good thing about this, we're going to go play. You know, we're not going to sit there and, and worry about what if or anything like that. Nobody really gives us a chance to win this game anyways. So um, we're going to let it all out. We're going to play as hard as we possibly can and look up after four quarters and see where we're at. Coach Ryan, uh, Coach, Dave, Coach Meyer said the other day that there's nothing more dangerous. He loves the team that he's Do you buy that philosophy? Oh, I don't know. I mean, that, that's for the fans and everything like that. I mean, um, you know. Whatever it is, I know that you know we're going to play fast in this game. We got to play violent in this game. Um, you know, we got to execute at a high level, and, and that's what it's going to come down to. But um, you know, what we're not going to do is is you know play it close to the vest. We're going to go, and, and our guys got to play that way and have that mentality when they walk in that stadium. Because you know we know what the stadium's going to be like. We know the electricity. We know that you know it's going to be heavy. Um, you know, the fans will be, you know, uh, heavily in, in Georgia's favor. It's going to be a loud environment, all those types of things. So uh, it's going to be like being on the road. Um, certainly, 
uh, we um, you know appreciate all all the Buckeyes who are going to be at the game and having that presence there. But it, it's going to be that type of feel, and our guys know that. So we've talked about it. and We've prepared for that. No, no, that's one less thing we have to worry about. Well, no, it, it's, again, it's the same thing all, all year. You know, you have to have a balance. You, know, you have to be able to win the line of scrimmage. The team wins the line of scrimmage, typically wins the game. That's, that's, that goes back a long time. So uh, we have to do that again in this game. And, and, and they're very good at it on both sides of the ball. So uh, our defensive line has got to do a great job. Our offensive line has got to do a great job. And, and, and it's got to come down to one-on-one -on -one matchups in the end. You know, their um, you know, inside guy against our, our uh, guards, their tackles against our defensive ends. Uh, our linebackers against their tight ends, you know, those types of things. Right. I don't think so. Um, yeah, I hadn't really thought of, of the fact that they hadn't played an indoor game before, but um, we practice in it all the time. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I... Um, I think that we're, we're comfortable in that. We've practiced in the last month, and, and we've been over there the last week. So um, still the same field, still the same dimensions. Everything's about the same. So uh, I don't think it'll play much of a factor at all. And when you have a game like this, where it is four star, five star games, the talent gap's not there. Most sports have done so well. They've been able to rattle off this many wins. What becomes the difference when you have two teams in the game? Well, it comes down to the little things and comes down to one or two plays typically that can change the game when you look at the game they played against LSU, um, you know, they're kicking a field goal. They block it, return it for a touch. That's a 10-point swing in a, in a game. You know, things like that in, in a matchup game can be the difference. It can come down to one play, come down to two plays. So you never know when those things are going to be. But uh, when you're in matchup games, you just got to keep playing. You got to keep swinging. And, you know, you, you have to, um, you know, have the mentality that you're going to just go out there and swing as hard as you can for 60 minutes. And then you'll come up for air at the end. But um, the team who prepares harder um, and continues to work towards 8 o'clock is going to win, and, and that's the mentality we've had all month as we prepared is, uh, you know, who's practicing harder, who's preparing better, who's doing a better job in meetings, and then once we get on that field, who's going to play harder, and that, that's what it is. Yeah, I know a lot of people have made a lot about Ellis for a lot of yards on When you're down three scores, the, the game trip is such a good throw. Right. Is there anything in that game, I mean, how do you attack the Ellis this week? Oh, I think it got a little sideways in that game, so they, you know, they, they kind of, you know, uh, played one way, and you never want to be in that world. You want to have that balance all the time. You know, you don't want to be playing one way, and certainly we haven't done that all year. We won't won't do it this this week. You know, we'll just continue to, um, you know, find that balance and, and keep attacking teams and or keep attacking the defense and try to put them as much stress as possible. That that's what it comes down to. You know, you start to have tendencies one way or another, you set yourself up. So. Uh, we want to keep have a, a clean game plan where the guys can go play as hard and as, as fast as possible and, and not think a whole bunch. And Brian, you said that Alan Hayden would have a role. I guess maybe everybody in that room would have a role. But yep. coming off the two games he had, do you see him playing more than he did against Michigan? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Didn't he establish some confidence? I think so. I think so. And he's had a, a great month of preparation. So, um, yeah, we're going to need him to win this game. Um, I, I, again, you know, we don't, we don't really have a pecking order. You know, I, I think one of the things that, that we've had to do all year is nothing new is we've had to adjust as, as the season has gone on because there's, there's you know, um, that's just kind of the way that it's gone this year in that room is, we, you know, we've had some guys in and out. So, um, you know, we've had to put some guys into the spots. And, and the good news is we've been able to adjust and we've uh, responded in that area. So that's nothing new. Um, and, you know, it's the good news is, you know, we should have everybody available for the game, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's similar to a, a first game of the season. You know, you can overthink things, but uh, you do have a lot of a preparation time to, to get ready. And, you know, there's certain different things you can do, wrinkles, you know, new things, but um, and then that's all real, but you want to make sure it comes down to fundamentals in the end, who plays harder, and that's it. And kind of on the flip side, what kind of adjustments do you anticipate having to make in game because of stuff where maybe they put in that you've never seen? Yeah, um, you know, they do a great job of being multiple on both sides of the ball, and they, 
they have a bunch of ways to attack you, and they're going to have you know uh, wrinkles and things that are new. So we'll have to do a, a great job of identifying what those things are, and and then adjusting from there in the game. Yeah. Right. I think it's a great question. I, I think that's one of the things that we've got to do a great job of in this game. And I, I, I talked to the team last year, uh, you know, about the Rose Bowl and how that was a back and forth type of game, and, and some of the games that we've been in that uh, have come down to that. Um, you know, the Penn State game for us this year, it was close in the fourth quarter. We were down. We had to come back and win. So, um, you know, if, if we go up, if we go down, if it's close early on, we got to keep playing for four quarters, and, and that's what the CFP games are typically. Um, you know, it's like, you know, I think about, and I just kind of shared with them some of the, the history of, of this game and what it's been like. And uh, we've talked about, you know, what the first Clemson game was like, the second Clemson game, um, you know, in, in different different games along the way, some of the some of the games that Ohio State has played in in the past. Um, but this is, this is about them. This is going to be their story. They have an opportunity to write um, a story here that, um, you know, could be very special. And I, I think our guys recognize that. Oh, um, you know, where do I start? You know, first off, it's it's the talent. They have a tremendous amount of talent. Um, you know, in the back end, they can fly around. And they have great cover skills and create a lot of problems. And then it goes right to the linebackers and the guys up front. Uh, schematically, they're very, very well coached. Um, you know, do an unbelievable job of getting them to play hard. So they they have a, a history of, of knowing how you're trying to attack them, and, and they can make adjustments in game. and. Certainly, try to recognize you know uh, you know what you're doing and how you're lining up and things like that. So, uh, very very good um, talent and very very well coached. You know, I think that's uh, that's coaching and that's life. You know, there's going to be things that come along the way that. Um, you know, you have to bounce back from, and and that's that's you know something that I think our all of our guys have um, really embraced the last couple of weeks. And there's certainly been a lot of noise, but our guys have done a great job of focusing on what really matters. We got a chance to go win a national championship here and play Georgia, you know, in Atlanta, and that's that's been the focus of our team. Well, he's resilient. Um, I mean, you know, I think people can recognize how resilient he is as a young man. But um, I don't think anyone can prepare you for, for being on this type of stage and everything that comes with it. And I just give him an unbelievable amount of credit for the way that uh, he goes about his business every day and, and uh, the way that he's handled himself as a person. You know, it, I forget if he's 20 or 21 years old, but uh, for him to... Uh, handle the handle himself the way that he has. I got a lot of admiration for that and a lot of respect for that. I mean, there's a lot of people um, that I know that wouldn't be able to do that. And he's growing every day. He's building every day. Uh, this team loves him. I love him. And uh, I can't wait to see him compete on Saturday night. Yeah, they're very good. They they have a really good talent, and, and again, they coach really, really well. So uh, this is a matchup game, and, and, and whether it's you know the, the front, the linebackers, the tight ends, or like you said, the receivers and, and DBs, uh, you're going against you know uh, your your clone. You know, you're going against um, you know a guy who's as as talented as you are. So um, you have to embrace that role. You have to embrace the fact that you're going against really good players, and, and go do it. And, and how do you do that? You have to figure out how you're going to win that matchup. You know, and is it just going to be with talent? I don't know. Um, everyone has their own journey to get here. The bottom line is we're here and we got to go play in the game. And um, you know, however, you know, each team gets here. That's their own story. But you know, there's four teams left, and um, you know, everyone's got a chance to win it. And 
I guess I can tell you that the last month of preparation has been excellent, though. So how's your week been here? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been a really good week. Um, we got in here uh, Christmas night, and um, everybody in the Peach Bowl has been wonderful, and, and the city of Atlanta has been, been great and um, been very well taken care of. Um, great accommodations, and I think our guys have appreciated everything that uh, the Peach Bowl folks have done here for us. Um, we, we've, we've tried to treat it like the Woody Hayes Athletic Center the best we could. Uh, we've kind of said, okay, that's where we come out of the Woody. Everyone's in their own spots, and we tried to make it ours. But also talk to them about visualizing uh, themselves playing you know, in, in a uh, capacity crowd on, on Saturday night, what that's like, so that when you run out, it's not the first time. You've already done it. You've played it. You've felt it. You, you felt what it's like to be um, you know, on third and three, you, you, you feel like what it's like to be in the red zone, you know, coming out the first kickoff of the game, all those types of things. You've already played that. And that's that's a part of coaching um, or, or really, you know, preparing a team is like, hey, you can do this, but it's got to be through your imagination because the first time you do it uh, can't be on Saturday night. you got to already do it. And being in the stadium for a whole week is, I think, allowed us to do that a little bit. Uh, the, the quarterback what? Yeah, two really good players, both Heisman Trophy finalists. Um, a lot of respect for Stetson and, and what he's done. And, um, you know, certainly he's a winner and he's a competitor and very, very talented, makes some unbelievable throws, um, you know, tough run in the football. I mean, he, he can do he can do it all. Um, great player. Um, and then obviously, you know, we, we know about CJ and all his um, ability and, and what he's done. And, and uh, he's had an unbelievable week of practice and, uh, again, I, I said it before, I know he's really excited about playing in this game. Yeah, I mean, I, I, when you're playing in bowl games or this time of year, typically this is um, this is the setting. And um, we've had a good week of work in the stadium. Our, that's my first time in the stadium, um, I believe, actually, because I was going back to when we played in Monday night game uh, back um, a few years ago when I was in the NFL, and I actually wasn't at the stadium. So um, so this is our first time kind of being there and, and feeling it. And, um, you know, I think it was good to at least get a feel for what it was like and, and try to visualize ourselves playing in the game because it's going to be an electric atmosphere. Right. Well, that, that kind of was something that uh, happened there, um, you know, the beginning of December where uh, we weren't sure how it was going to shake and, and then some things broke our way and now all of a sudden you had a second, second opportunity to go win this thing and, and uh, kind of gave a lot of energy and excitement and juice around the facility and then it, it just kind of translated to some really excellent practices and preparation. So, um, you know, we're now we're kind of into the, the game preparation. That's kind of, all that stuff's kind of behind us now and it's all about Georgia. No, it's all about this game right now. Yeah. I'm 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 excited to see us play. I'm I'm excited to play in this game. I'm excited for our team to go play. Um, going to play fast. Going to play loose. Going to go and uh, have a bunch of fun playing on the field. But um, we can't play the game right now. And when you get into games like this, you just want to get to the game, but there's still a lot of preparation to be done. Um, you know, every, every game you play in at Ohio State has got huge magnitude. And if you don't uh, think so, try losing a game, you know. So that's kind of the world we live in at Ohio State. Yeah, so uh, we're expecting him to practice today and, and have everybody available. You know, the one thing is we've we've kind of been, um, you know, working through that all season. And the good news is, you know, our, our guys have um, re responded well to it, and some guys have stepped up. So. 
um, this is not something new. And certainly when, when Trey wasn't available and that just, you know, we had to, um, you know, go down the road of a surgery for him, uh, even though he was working real hard to, to try to get out back on the field. And I give him a lot of credit for that. But in the end, he just had to have the surgery. Um, and that was the right thing for Trey. And then uh, from there, okay, so now, now where do we go? And, and uh, you know, all these guys have been preparing hard and, um, you know, we have some good options going into this game. Yeah, there's a lot going on on a week like this for sure. Uh, but that's that's what this is all about this time of year is, um, you know, managing it all. But um, but the focus on our players and the focus on practice and the focus on making sure that our guys are prepared to play in this game. That's the number one thing. Uh, but there there are a lot of things going on. Like you said, there's the holidays, there's um, you know the bowl, and, and there's there's events, there's all these types of things. But we I think we've done a really good job of keeping the main thing the main thing, and that's that's about playing here on eight o'clock on Saturday night. Uh, so we allowed them to go home for a couple of days to be with their families during the holidays, and then uh, everybody met here Christmas night, and then we got back to work. So, um, you know, we also did our senior tackle um, the Saturday before we left, and had the senior banquet there on campus, which was a nice event. Um, and uh, and then obviously uh, we're able to, um, you know, help out with, with the families getting down here to the bowl game as well. You know, so so that's great, and you know, most of the families will be here over the next couple of days. I think it's it's just the the complete um, package of three three levels or uh, three uh, phases. You have the offense, defense, and special teams. I think they do a good job in all three phases. Um, you know, I've gone through it all. You know what they what they do in all those areas, but um, they have obviously very very good players and a lot of talented players. Uh, recruited very well, and then they're well coached and, and execute well. Good, how are you? I got another few questions. These are pretty generic. Yeah. Sure yeah. Are you good? All right. Um, from the last loss to being named uh, into the playoff, what was that week like for you, and how, to, how did you manage that? Well, all we did is um, it took a couple days there, and then quickly just uh, got, to, got got together with the team and said, "Listen, if if a couple things go away, um, we're probably going to be playing Georgia here in this game." And so that started the Wednesday before we even uh, knew what was going to happen. And we got out there and had a couple practices, which was good because um, it, it, the best thing to do is get back to work. And that's what we did. And then uh, when it did kind of fall that way over the weekend, you know, our guys just had so much energy because like, we already talked about this. And, and then it just kind of translated into some really good practices and, um, and, and some physical practices. And we've had an edge about us. And then, um, and then we got down here, had, had three really good days of work, and, and uh, about to have, have another day, and we'll you know, just keep working towards 8 o'clock on Saturday night. You're obviously an offensive guy. Uh, when you look at Georgia, the last two years, one of the best defenses of, of all time, maybe. What do you see when you look at that defense on film? Well, like you said, uh, one of the best defenses of all time. You know, they're, they're a great defense, and it's a huge challenge for us. Do you, from the front seven standpoint, a lot of guys that are new, they don't play like they're new. Uh, what do you see from those guys, specifically Jalen Carter, a guy who didn't really get a lot of reps last year? Yeah, strong and, and talented, um, physical, and you know, so you know, we've done a really good job of preparing for that over the last month. And and the game's going to be one up front. It always is. You know, the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball, whether it's offense or defense. CJ, obviously a two-time Heisman Trophy finalist, uh, kind of explain his. Uh, development from a guy starting last year for the first time to a guy who has so much, ac so many accolades. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I've just been very impressed with how he's handled himself um, over the last few weeks. Um, he's a special young man who this team loves, I love, and I'm looking forward to seeing him play on Saturday night. Uh, Jim talked a little bit about Stetson Bennett and how uh, he is dangerous as a passer deep, maybe doesn't get the credit that he that he should, but also as an athlete in general. What do you see from Stetson? Yeah, a great player. Uh, somebody who's already won a national championship. He, he can do um, you know, a lot of things. He can, like you said, he's, he's got a quick release. He's uh, accurate downfield. Uh, he can run. Uh, you know, he kind of operates everything, gets him in the right play. And uh, he's got some real good weapons around him. Thanks, Ryan. All right, you got Appreciate it. it. Good luck. You got it. Yep. What did you see from CJ 
PJ in the days and weeks um, post-Michigan loss leading up to the preparation to play this game? I, uh, you know, really what I saw everybody do, and that's get back to work and, and focus on preparing for Georgia. Um, but, you know, he's, uh, you know, grown a lot in a short period of time. And, you know, he knows that his best football is ahead of him. And he's using every opportunity to grow as a football player, as a person. And like I said, you know, this team loves him and, and I love him. And looking forward to seeing him play at 8 o'clock on Saturday night. Um, I mean, I don't think he addressed the team, um, but, you know, his work every day and his practice preparation has been excellent, and, and he's, um, you know, he, he knows how important this game is. We all do. So um, I don't think he's doing anything different than anybody else, but, you know, we got an opportunity to play in the semifinals and compete for a national championship here. There's only four teams left, and, and we're one of them. So what matters is how we prepare and how we play in this game, and that's it. So. You know, uh, what we can't do is let a game, you know, beat us twice. And so, um, you know, continue to have to field questions about that, you know, that, that you know, he's had to do and certainly we've had to do. But um, but that has not affected our preparation. Hi there. Hi, guys. Sure. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, what are your expectations going in? Well, we, we expect an unbelievable crowd, unbelievable atmosphere, and um, a great opponent um, and, you know, a great challenge. But um, I think you're going to see some really um, physical play. You're going to see some um, high-end execution, and you're going to see a heck of a game. Oh, um, I like being with the players. I like being with the team. Um, yeah, yeah, with the, with the lock, you know, in the locker room, on the field, you know, whatever it is. We, um, you know, every once in a while, you got to have a little time for yourself. But I like being with the players. And then, like, what music is playing? Well, me, I let those guys choose the music. Not that I always know what they're playing, but I let them choose the music. What would you eat? What would you eat before? Anything, uh, but we keep it. We keep it pretty, um, pretty bland before a game. You know, grilled chicken and spaghetti and things like that. Yeah. If you have to rename a drink, like your name, what would you change? Ooh. Any drink. Rename a drink? Jeez, I don't know. <laughs> I have to think about that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, um, you know, in recruiting, I've stayed, you know, up in Buckhead before and um, been over to Lenox Mall and in those areas. Um, I know my family really enjoyed the aquarium. I've not been over there, but they said it's a great aquarium. And um, you know, Usually when we're recruiting, you know, we're staying a little bit in some of the suburbs and in some of the other areas up in the Gwinnett County and some of those um those towns and there's great football here so usually when we're here we're not here sightseeing we're usually here recruiting so but it's certainly a great city with with great players great coaches great programs and um and everybody here has been great to us we've had a great week do you have, uh, do you have anything like if you had to tell players in high school looking to be recruited like what would you tell them ahead of time who are looking for um i, I yeah I, I think the first thing is when you recruit that you have to keep the focus on what really matters, and that's their development uh, on and off the field for the rest of their life. Um, you know, everyone's chasing the dream of going to the NFL and um, having a 15-year career in the NFL or whatever it is. But you know, guys in college are still in the most formidable years of their life, and um, there's going to be life after football. So, you know, choosing the right school for the right reasons, I think, is the most important thing. You know, that once you choose a school, you have to go live it. 
you know, after you, you, you put out the, the tweet and after you, you go through signing day, now you got to go live there and you got to go um, embrace the culture of the program that's there. So um, I just think for, for every recruit and their families, the number one thing has to be their development as a person, as a, as a student and getting a great degree, and then obviously as a player. Hey, Ryan, we have a guest for us on Yeah. <laughs> Following last year's Rose Bowl ping pong match versus Jesse Mirko, have you looked forward to any rematches this year? Well, there was a little trash talking the other day that um, – we'd be going against each other. And certainly Jesse did get me uh, last year. Um, and I can't tell you that I've had a lot of time to work on my game, but there will be a rematch before we play in this game on Saturday night, and, and I will win. Yeah, we, we figure that certainly it's going to be, um, you know, the majority will be the Georgia fans, and so we'll have to um, handle it as such, which we've, we've done. We, we knew that coming down here. So, um, you know, almost treating it like a road game. But, um, but like you said, this is their third time playing here, so it is kind of familiar uh, for them. But we've, we've had an opportunity to, to practice in, in Mercedes-Benz Stadium all week, and, um, you know, we've known what we're up against here. And, um, and it's a great challenge. And... I know our guys are excited about it. You just had some of your players come up and interview you. I'm curious of how you assess media day and how your players have been handling it. I know they're no strangers to media, but obviously the semifinals are different. Yeah, and this is, a, this is probably one of the few times that we're, um, we're all out here together as a team um, for an event like this. And, and it's good. It's good for our team. But, um, you know, there'll be a lot of questions and things and, and – um, you know, distractions on a week like this. You know, this is not something that typically we go through like if it was a normal game week. But when you're dealing with a bowl game like this, um, what you have to do is you have to focus on the game. You know, there's a lot of things along the way that are uh, can be distracting, and we can't let that happen. But um, our guys are pros. They're, we have a great group, and, um, you know, I think they'll do a great job today. Uh, well, we've had really good practices um, these three days. Um, last two days have been physical. They've been edgy. They've, um, you can just see it in our guys' eyes, the way that we're practicing. They're, they're looking forward to playing in this game, and um, today will be no different. You know, we'll get out there today and have a great practice. We've got meetings here in a, in a few minutes, and um, you know, keep grinding and keep working towards playing because the most prepared team will win. Yeah, I, I think everybody has their own journey, and whether it starts when they go into college or in the high school, and everybody kind of has it, and, it, and it comes usually with adversity along the way. And I think that's what, when you think about even for us this season, you know, it, life is about overcoming adversity, and I think Stetson has done an unbelievable job of that. You know, just not exactly um, you know the way you draw it up. You know, he's came in as a walk on and, and, and left Georgia, came back to Georgia. You know, and um, you know, was in a room with some really talented, highly recruited guys, but just kept grinding, and that's got a lot, lot, of, lot of respect for him and the way that he's handled himself because that's what life's all about is overcoming adversity, and, and he's done that, and um, he's turned into a great player. Right. Yeah. Um, it has, you know, I was looking at the injury report. I mean, we're clean going into this game and expecting to have everybody that, that you know of that'll be available. But uh, I just think this year it's been, you know, a couple of key spots that's hurt us. You know, I think overall we've done pretty good. You know, when you look at the overall, you know, games and, you know, who guys or, um, you know, who missed games, I think we did pretty good. It's just certainly not having Jackson available just felt like it, you know, it was like, you know, is he going to be ready next week? Is he going to be? And it just it never quite got better. And, um, and so, you know, that was frustrating. And the same thing with Trey. And, I, I, again, I give those guys credit. I mean, they were trying to get back in, but when you have injuries that don't allow you to do that, it's frustrating. And when you have such high-end athletes, you know, th those things come into play. But um, when you look at, you know, all the different areas, I guess the corners early on, we had some, some struggles there, but some guys stepped up, but then we got them healthy. And so, 
Um, I would think overall across the board we've done pretty good, but th- but they've been in key spots, which is, um, you know, it, it's it's been frustrating. But that's that's part of the game, and everybody deals with it. Um, you know, I think about some of the great teams who have had to overcome injuries along the way, and, and uh, it'd be one heck of a story if we can go out there and win this game and, and move, go on and and. Uh, and win a national championship overcoming some of these things. And that's, again, that's what life's all about, and that's what we're going to look, look forward to do here uh, Saturday night. I mean, uh, we're, you know, our focus has been on this game, and, and so the, I, would, I would assume one of the reasons we're an underdog is so we lost the last game. Um, and that, that plays into it. But... What matters is how hard we play and how well we execute. That's it. Nothing else matters and our preparation. So, you know, I, I don't know what to think of it all. Um, but I know, you know, it doesn't really matter about, you know, point spreads or anything. What matters is if you win the game or not. And sometimes, you know, during the season, you know, that becomes a topic of conversation. You know, as you know, after every game during the season, you know, how many did you win by, style points. Uh, did this guy look good? Did you get the running game going? In this game, it's all about winning. It doesn't matter how you win. You can win pretty clean, ugly, nasty. You know, it doesn't matter how you win. You just got to win. And, uh, you know, we've been in that press room before. We're like, oh, that was an ugly win. You know, we'll, we'll take any win. You know, that's when you're in the CFP. So, um, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Well, I think there was a point there where we were expecting to, to, to be in that four spot after everything that, that shook out. But there was just um, something we had talked about the week before was that if, if things played out the way we thought they could, that we'd have a chance to be in this situation. So we got to work the week before. We, we practiced two days and had really good practices. Um, so when it did happen, it was like, all right, we already talked about this. Um, you know, we planned for this, and now here we go. It's happening. And, uh, and there was excitement there, especially after – you know, the week before, it, was, uh, it wasn't good there for a few days. But new life, uh, great month of preparation, and, and now, again, it's, it's all, all about this game. What's the toughest thing about preparing sports? Oh, there's not just one thing. It's, it's everything. It's, it's, again, the talent, the scheme, the, um, you know, all the above. Yeah, uh, having guys who can do multiple things like Mecca is is, is great. Um, the more you can do, the more versatile you can be, then the more value you bring. And you know, we have a few guys like that. You know, you look at Mitch and Mecca and Xavier and those guys, and, and that helps us. When you were trying, when you were game planning, Jackson went down, trying to yeah. change things around. How big was not only Mecca's versatility, but his intellect, his intellect, knowing that he can handle it. Yeah, and, and his toughness. You know, I just think he's been a warrior all year. You look at what he's done, and, and whether it's special teams, whether it's playing the slot, whether it's playing outside, like you said, running the ball, he's been a warrior. And, and he can high, he handle high levels of information, but he's also physically tough and uh, turned into one heck of a football player this year. Coach, you mentioned, you know, a couple of tough days, you know, after that loss in November. Uh, I know we've heard from JT about his speech, but can you hear from your perspective a little bit what you heard and how that kind of has helped the there was a lot of things that were said, and I'll kind of leave some of that stuff to, to the team. But, um, but no, some guys have stepped up and, and shown really good leadership over the last month, and um, you know, and that, that's what you got to do. You got you got to be resilient. You got to have perseverance. You got to work through tough times. And that's that's what life's about. Life isn't always going to be easy. Certainly, uh, we're not proud of what happened. It was it was a it was a bad loss, but uh, we got to re- we got to rebound. No one's going to feel sorry for our, for ourselves, and, and and we didn't do that. Uh, we got back to work and. And um, and now the, all the focus is on this game. The team seems to be, I don't know, embracing the underdog mentality, excited to be, quote, unquote, the enemy. Uh, are you happy with how these players have turned the corner like that and, and embracing that mentality? Well, I think, I think we have an opportunity to do something real special here. And um, more than anything, I just, I just want them to go out there and play as hard and as fast as they can with, um, with, with, with not pressing at all because – 
um, you know, th- again, this is what life is. Life is about going through obstacles and being strong and not veering away from hitting the issues head on, dealing with conflict, and then proving from it. And we got an unbelievable opportunity on Saturday night. No, I, I think, um, you know, we've done an unbelievable job of recruiting, and I think that we've done a great job of developing. You know, you can see that with really all positions over the years. And, um, you know, I think each year is, is different because you have some young guys, you have some older guys, you have some experience, you, know, you have different uh, mixture of players. And, um, you know, this year we went to a, a different defensive scheme and, you know, went to a three-safety system. And, and so that's a little bit different. We've had to adjust our recruiting there. Um, but I think you're seeing, you know, really good play at all positions. And, um, and But every year is a little bit different, like you said. You know, um, you, know, you have young guys who have to step up. You have some older guys who now have experience. And, and then, you know, once we get done with the season, it'll all kind of change again, and we'll have to regroup year in and year out. But, um, but there's a certain level amount of talent in each room. But to me, it's all about the skill and discipline that you build uh, over your time. And, um, you know, talent is God-given but you have to earn discipline and skill, and that's, that's what we focus on. It's a big part of playing quarterback is being able to do that. And the more, the more you can do, the better. But then also, you also don't want to give it just because he can handle it, do too much where it puts too much on his plate either. And that's the balance you have to find. And I think the thing for CJ is he's really given great feedback to me. He's given great feedback uh, to the coaching staff on you know, what he's seeing, what he's feeling. When you're young, you don't really know. But he's got a, um, you know, now a bunch of games under his belt. So... Um, he knows what he likes. He knows what he doesn't like. Um, and he's had a really good uh, month of preparation here. And I know he's really excited about playing in this one. Right. No, but, but, but the feedback that he's giving and, and like, listen, you know, what do you think about this? Or I, I'm seeing this thing uh, a different way. And so we adjust them in practice and then, um, you know, certainly he can. He, he has some plays that he can he can change, but um, but no, that's not how the offense is running. Really just all of a sudden start changing plays at the last scrimmage. Coach, what is your relationship with Coach? Uh, just uh, you know, professional. Um, a lot of respect for him, and, and seeing him at a couple different events, and um, he's always been a gentleman. So your roster, when you look up and down, it is tons of guys from Ohio to Georgia. It's Georgia all across the board. I mean, how important, at least speaking for yourself, how important is that state representation also to supplementing from the outside state? I mean, for us, you know, our number one um, goal in recruiting is to recruit the best players from the state of Ohio. But then uh, from there, you know, going to identify the areas that, that we think can, can help us. And Georgia's been, um, you know, just had an unbelievable amount of talent come out of this area now for, for a long time and certainly uh, strong now um, than has ever been. And... Uh, great high school coaches, great talent, um, but it's heavily recruited well as well. You know, it's competitive. How much uh, admiration do you have for a guy like that? Ton, a ton. Um, you know, kind of similar to the way that I, I kind of came up. Um, you know, a smaller school and just kind of overachieving in different areas. But um, boy, he's really turned into a great player. Um, he can beat you with his feet. He's accurate downfield. Um, you know, the, the, the position of quarterback is one that you have to just continually overcome adversity. And, and that's what he's done. And you can just see that. And I think that's a trait of a really good quarterback. And um, shoot, he's already won a national championship and gone undefeated. So, um, again, uh, a lot of respect for him. With Marvin Harrison, there's always a nature versus nurture, right? You get guys, you develop them. You know, yeah. How much of him was nature and how much do you think has been? Yeah, I think that's when you find special players, you have talent that, like you said, it was God-given, you know, and 
Uh, Marvin did not did not earn that talent. <laughs> um, like R.J. Day's not going to have that talent, you know, but Marvin Marvin does. Uh, but I think what makes Marvin special is his discipline and his skill. He's built a tremendous amount of discipline in his life. Takes care of his body, uh, prepares at a high level. Just unbelievable amount of discipline. The way that he he runs his routes, um, his work ethic is unbelievable. Then, then the skill. I mean, the, the amount of work that he puts in, I think you could say that he's one of the hardest workers on the entire team. Um, the jug work, jugs work he puts in, you can ask anybody on our team, I would say they would say him right at the number one or two top hardest working guys on the team. So when you combine all that together, you get a special player. Your office is right by the, the indoor there. Do you just constantly hear the pitch, yeah. pitch of the jugs? Yeah, yeah, and that's... I mean, I think he had it going in the, in the hotel somewhere this week. You know, it's just the way he is. Yeah, he, um, you know, there was a point during the season where you know, there was only a few of us, and I think it was around midnight, and uh, someone said to me, there's only a few people in the building, Coach. You said a couple of the assistants, and Marvin's in there. And we had, I said, well, get Marvin home. He needs to get some rest. But that's just the way he is. And, and again, I think that's what makes him special. Yeah. Last question. Yeah. 